In a new report, Amazon says that they're making progress keeping fakes off of its sites. I bet it's a challenge. A lot of products out there. So on your side, Susan Campbell is joining us now with a this effort. Yeah, you kind of hit the nail on the head right there. So for starters, Amazon says last year it confiscated and disposed of more than 6 million fake products, keeping them out of the supply chain. And the retail giant says stricter seller verifications are keeping bad guys from becoming sellers on the site. So here's what the report shows. In 2020, there were 6 million attempts to by so-called bad actors to create new selling accounts. By 2022, that number had dropped to 800,000. So they're, you know, they're using a lot of um, algorithms and, uh, you know, artificial intelligence uh, to be able to identify um, the pro the, these problem items. Professor Elliot Rabinovich is a professor of supply chain management at Arizona State University. He says Amazon and online retailers like it are particularly susceptible to counterfeit products because of the sheer number of sellers and products. That's the dark side of unlimited assortment, basically. You know, when you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of sellers selling tens of millions of products, tracking who's selling what and whether what they're selling is authentic or counterfeited or not safe or tampered, you name it, is a enormous challenge. The National Crime Prevention Council estimates fake products, including faulty electronics, cause more than 70 deaths and 30, 350,000 serious injuries every year. So to protect yourself from fakes, we have a couple quick tips for you. First of all, you have to look for the clues in the listings. If there are misspellings or even low quality pictures, you might be dealing with something that's counterfeit. Then you want to check on seller information. That's going to pop up next. Check that seller information. See what else they sell. See where their business is located and check that feedback on other products. And also you want to be wary of very low prices. If something is much cheaper than you'd expect, guys, uh, probably mm -hmm. too good to be true. Yeah. We say that all the time, but it is such an easy way to know yeah. that at least you need to take a second Sounds and examine off about little, this. Yeah, that, that really beautiful watch that's normally uh -huh. twenty thousand dollars. Wait for two hundred and fifty. Yeah. You know, that's that's something's amiss. We right have there. a red flag. Right. Exactly. Thank you, Susan.